Hello everyone, it is Saturday, August 11th, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. It's Saturday and it's party time and we get the beer hat to party. Hell yeah, so let's start off with our unofficial sponsors. Before I do that, big shout out to a lovely, lovely lady by the name of Emma Montgomery. Yes, totally beautiful, total sweetheart, and uh... Her husband Johnny's got a got a website that's quite awesome, theravel.com. T h e r a v e l dot com. Check it out. I checked it out. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of good good talk. Basically unraveling stories and stuff like that. Pretty neat site. So check it out. Johnny and his better half Emma. Big shout out to the two of youths. And uh, great website by the way. All right. Also a big shout out to Mustang Brewing Company of. Uh, out in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That's right. And because uh, they brew awesome beer. And I haven't given them a shout out in a while. They're the only beer company that I'm aware of that watches my show. And I hope that they watching. I hope that they're watching tonight. Because big shout out to you guys. Someday I'm gonna make it up there and just well if I have the money, I'll wipe the wipe the shelves clean. Oh man, that stuff's awesome. Alright. Now with that said. Of course, our unofficial sponsor of the show, my good man Wally Fortier, Wally Aluminum, Wally's Aluminum Shaping Process, not Wally's Ass Sculpting Process, and he makes all kinds of aluminum art. Folks, you gotta check it out. Facebook.com/slash Waspa. That would be W-A-S-P-A-A. -A. Waspa. And of course, to start the day off right, and I just heard from her today. She appreciates all the uh, shout-outs and everything. My good friend Crystal Lloyd, Crystal Lloyd Dozani, KJ Lloyd, Ogano Gold. That's www.kjloyd.organogold.com It's a great way to start the day with some awesome coffee. I know, I have some myself. And it's good for you. And she's a uh, pinup queen. She's also a uh, published poet. Amazing. She's in a comic book. Aspiring actress. The woman's got more skills than anybody I know. It's incredible. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think my wife's got a beat, though. Nobody can beat my wife. Anyway. And, of course, my man Tom Walk. That'd be W-A-L-K-E, not Waka, not Walkie, Walk. Living right down here in yeah, Texas, where man, man, the bulls run scared. We've got Stevens Rubber Stamps and Sign Company. As you can see, just read it. All kinds of good stuff. If you can't read, you probably don't need any signs. So there you go. And with that said, it's time to get to the beer of the day. My good friend, Justin Dimmitt, big shout out to you. You're going to love this. Great beer, no doubt about it. Can never go wrong with a good, yummy Guinness draw. Out of Dublin, Ireland. Mm -mm -mm. So you always need a good stout beer mug to pour that bad boy in. Why not something from France? Heck yeah. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it right. Wow. <laughs> there you go, Justin. You called my pop week last time. 45 degree angle, of course, right over the computer keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Beer pouring art at its finest. And, of course, the proper drinking apparatus. Mm. Cheers and beers to all of you, as they say in Japan. Kampai! Oh, wow. All right, how about some birthdays? Starting right off with the lovely, succulent, sexy, beautiful Sarah Milligan. How are you, my dear lady? Living in jolly old England. Happy birthday to you. Missed the hell out of you and your lesser half, but still pretty damn awesome hubby, Matt. We miss you guys. We love you guys. Not in that way, Matt. Don't get emotionally erect there, big buddy. But yeah, you true. You two are truly wicked awesome. We missed the hell out of you. We're hanging out in your state, good old yeah, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. That's right, Oklahoma. Good 1955 Broadway musical. Good 1943. Actually, it was a 55 movie and a 43 musical. A lot of people don't know that, but yes, it was. So yeah, Sarah. I hope you've had a wicked awesome day, and I hope you got spoiled by Matt, and I hope you're having lots of deep, loving, mm, 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 because your hubby should be spoiling you. Full body massage, followed by whatever it is you like. For I'm the love doctor, and I know what I'm talking about. Next on the list, I've known this wonderful lady for a long, long time. Oh, well over 20 years. My dear friend, I knew her as Becky Fran Flanders. Becky Clements, happy birthday to you, sweetie. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're celebrating well. And I hope you're getting spoiled with lots of gifts. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. 
and hope you have had an awesome, awesome day. Next on the list. Now here's a man from Yeehaw, Texas. My man Jason Shoffit. But the sad thing is he's a damn Yankees fan. Dude, what's the matter with you, man? And I think you're a Lakers fan too, aren't you? I don't remember on that one. Let me know, Jason. Are you a Lakers fan or not? But I'll never forget that brisket that you made that was just absolutely spectacular when we worked together in jolly old England. Man, I miss that. But hope you're doing well, brother. And hope you party hard and enjoy. I'll party with you. Next on the list. Happy birthday to my man, Ed Kenworthy. Hope it's been an awesome one for you. I haven't met Ed personally, but he is a Mafia Wars player. And we've been playing a long, long time. So, Ed, celebrate well and enjoy and hope it's an awesome day, my friend. And finally, Carl Scott, happy birthday to you. Now, here's another one I haven't met yet, but he's part of our, uh, part of our Mafia Wars family. Strays Fight United. The baddest, best Mafia Wars family out there. Undoubtedly, we tight. We tight like that. But Carl, I hope it's been a great day for you, my friend. An awesome one. <coughs> Celebrate well and enjoy because that's what I'm doing for you. All right, with that said, how about a shout-out to my man Rope. Additional shout-out time. A shout-out to my man Ruben Dolzani. What's up, brother? An outstanding age man in jolly old England who's now living in Colorado. A great man and married to one of the most beautiful women in the world, the lovely Crystal Lloyd Dolzani. From Wyoming. I worked with her in England as well. I worked with both of them in jolly old England. And they were absolutely phenomenal. It was a pleasure and an honor to work with them. They are a lovely couple. Ruben, you're like a walking muscle with a head. Always in the gym. Work. Because you work out. Work out. That's what you do. You man beast. And Crystal, just looking absolutely spectacular. Thank you for adding those additional photos. Folks, check it out. Crystal Addiction. K-R-Y-S-T-A-L. For the first name, and addiction. If you can't spell addiction, you probably aren't, shouldn't even be on Facebook. A-D-D-I-C-T-I-O-N. Just look for Crystal Addiction on Facebook. Search for it. Like the page. Love the photos. I know I do. Crystal, you're magnificent. I'm telling you. The folks, yes, that's right. The same Crystal that makes the coffee is the same one that also has some really nice modeling pictures out there. Absolutely fantabulous. All right. Speaking of beautiful women, how about a shout out to my good friend Stephanie Carpenter. What's going on, sweetie? Hope you're doing well. Cheers and beers to you. Thought I'd drop you a line and say, what's up? Pleasure and an honor working with you here in Yeehaw, Texas. Although she's actually from southern Oklahoma. Yes, she is actually from Texas. She is from Texas, otherwise known as eastern New Mexico, western Louisiana, or northern Mexico. Whatever you want to call it, Texas. It's like a whole other country. Good, you can be your own country. I don't mind. As long as you're not communist. All right. And, of course, she's a diehard Trekkie fan, as is my good man, Justin Dimmitt. Those two have gotten along great. Hey, lead, good people lead to good people. What can I say? And, Justin, dude, you are, like, to totally wicked awesome. A big cheers and beers worth of Guinness to you, brother. And, uh... Man, this beer is going down fast. Mmm, so delicious. Absolutely fantabulous. And finally, a big shout out to my man, Iron Mike Gore, the man who brought back a couple of Washita Wheat Brewery. brewery uh, uh, <laughs> Let's try that again, huh? See, Iron Mike Gore is the man, he's from Oklahoma. He brought back a couple of uh, Washita Wheat beers. And that is brewed by Mustang Brewing Company. And thanks to him, I got to try those Mustang beers. And they were phenomenal. And because of that, I now have a bond with Mustang Brewing Company themselves. See? And those rumors of Oklahoma only having 3.2% beer. Push it! Because that beer, if I'm not mistaken, was 5.3%. It might have been 5.1%. I can't remember. So, Mustang Brewing Company... Was it 5.1 or 5.3? Boy, oh uh, boy, oh uh, boy. I know it wasn't 5.2. I think it was 5.3% alcohol by volume. With that said, how about we get to some uh, random facts of the day. On this day in 1960, Chad became a country. Where's Chad? I don't know where he is. 
That would be in Africa. They became independent from France. On this day in 1924, the first newsreel pictures of presidential candidates were released. How about that? <coughs> amazing. Squeeze me. Speaking of amazing, on this day in 1989, Voyager 2 discovered two partial rings on the planet Neptune. See, we didn't know Neptune had rings. They don't. They got partial rings. Half-assed rings, if you will. Oh, and uh, Justin Dimmitt. Justin, let me tell you something, brother. Got to straighten out my good friend, um, Iron Mike Gore. See, he's an Oklahoma guy. He's an Okie and damn proud of it. And he's a freaking Yankees fan. Dude, where do they grow these people? At least Matt and Sarah Milligan are from Texas and are Cowboy fans. That's cool. Root for your home team, as you should. Don't root for the Yankees like my friends Jason Shoffit and Justin Dimmitt and my friend Roger Dickerson, who I mentioned yesterday. From He's from um, Indiana and a Yankees fan. Ugh, what's wrong with these people? Ugh. All right. How about this? Happy birthday. And Justin, now you know where I got it from. Happy birthday to the Hulkster. That's right. Hulk Hogan. Terry Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do, brother, when I hit you in the eye with a woman's shoe? Size 7. My friend Daryl K. Harris will appreciate that one. The Hulkster. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, that's the Nacho Man. Rotten, Randy Macho Man Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage. Boy, oh, boy. Well, you know something, brother. That's right. Been saying brother for years. On this day in 1933, event, event, uh, TV and just, uh, Evangelist, jeez. TV evangelist Jerry Falwell was born. What a douche. He ain't a cool reverend like this guy. On this day in 1984. Oh, by the way, and uh, Iron Mike Gore is also a fellow reverend. So if you need a if you need a wedding ceremony and I'm busy as a dyke in a hardware store, to quote the late great George Carlin, hit up my man Iron Mike Gore. He can perform wedding ceremonies too. Right, Reverend brother? That's right. On this day, 1984, now I love this quote, during a radio voice test, President Ronald Reagan joked, this is what he said, he said he's signing le legislation that would outlaw Russia forever. We begin bombing in five minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he loved the Russians like he loved getting kicked in the nuts with a steel-toed boot, huh? On this day, 1929, it was 28 degrees Fahrenheit in Embarrass, Minnesota. Now that's embarrassing. Embarrass? Who the hell would name a town Embarrass? Why? Ugh. On this day in 1972, this is pretty cool. It was Cheech and Chong Day in San Antonio, Texas. Bet you everybody smoked a bowl to celebrate that one. On this day in 1965, this is not worth celebrating, but it is an anniversary and it will never be forgotten. The Watts riots began in a lasted six day. Watts, Los Angeles, California. Oh, what a bad area. Six days of race riots in Watts. Unbelievable. On this day in 1934, the first federal prisoners arrived at Alcatraz. Alcatraz Island, just outside of San Francisco, California. I know, I'm one of those former prisoners myself. Um, yep, I missed that place. Not! On this day in 1909, the first SOS signal was used by an American ship, the Arapaho, Cape Town, South Africa. They actually used the SOS 103 years ago today. This was a pretty cool fact. On this day in 1874, the sprinkler head was patented by Harry S. Parmerly. Not Harry S. Terman. Ha ah, that's who you were thinking, wasn't it? Happy birthday to Eric Carmen, 63 years old today. Sang All By Myself in 1975, a classic ballad, beautiful song, 74, 75, I think it was 74 actually, and released in 75. Um, he was also lead singer of the Raspberries prior to then, early 70s band. On this day in 1926, Klaus, ba Klaus von Bühler was born, yeah, he uh, was charged with killing his wife. Boy, I remember hearing that on the news every day for like a year. Ugh. And finally... On this day in 1921, the late, great Alex Haley was born. Who's Alex Haley? <laughs> Duh. He's the one that came out with the TV miniseries Roots in 1977 and then came out Roots 2 in 79. Phenomenal, phenomenal miniseries, by the way, folks. Those He traced his roots way back all the way to Africa. Awesome stuff. 
But anyway, let's get to the movie of the day, and we're going 1960. Back to the Bruce Brown surf documentaries. Barefoot Invention. Now, let me tell you, let me read something real quick. This one's amazing how he got this done. Um, man, oh, man. This one, uh, basically, the original elements of bare, Barefoot Adventure, film, narration, unit, music, lay in bits and pieces in his attic. Most of the film had been taken apart for use in other projects. Weeks were spent opening unmarked film cans or viewing old surfing footage in search of missing shots. The shots once found were often held together by paper tape, which after 30 years had turned to rock and fossilized onto the film. Removing the tape meant soaking the end of each shot in film cleaner for 10 to 25 minutes until the tape softened from granite to mud and could be safely scraped off. Wow, that's a lot of work. But thank God these films are in great shape, filmed in color, all of them. And uh, Bud Shank did the original jazz score on this one. South Shore Surfing at Queens, Threes, and Alamona. Awesome stuff, memorable. California stuff at the Wedge, Huntington Pier, Trestles, and Streamer Lane, North Shore, Waimea, Sunset, and Maka Makaha. Wow. So cool stuff. There you go. How about we get to the song of the day? And I know my good friend Iron Mike Gore will appreciate this, as will anybody else who loves good old school blues, especially when they're <laughs> more adult oriented. Who else? Who better to bring out than the late great Bo Kider? This one. Is Ramrod Daddy from 1931. An 81-year-old song and it's still full of life today. Listen to this one. I'm a Ramrod and Daddy. I stays up on May 3. I'm a Ramrod and Daddy. I stays up on May 3. I keep my gun loaded. Get it? Keeps his gun loaded. <laughs> I'm a round rod and daddy, Lord, my rod is long and slow. And I'm the love doctor. I'm a round rod and daddy, my rod is long and slow. And every time I load a gun for a woman, you know it's too tight, Jim. Sorry about the uh, lousy internet. It'll probably take three hours for this damn thing to upload. A lot of people on the internet right now. Empty is the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. And, of course, every good old school song has an instrumental break. We wouldn't have it any other way now, would we? What do you think of this one, folks? Hit it up in the comments section below. YouTube.com slash RedBowSocks. Facebook.com slash RedBowSocks. However you want to do it. I want all you women. You better bow this. Nice. <laughs> Squeeze me. Squeeze me. Hey, there's a ramrod and daddy right here, folks. But he's a one woman man. Damn right, you gotta take t take your time, make the woman right. It ain't no other round rod and daddy can put his load to low ground with mine. Ooh, dirty. Bo Carter was truly the king of the risque blues, undoubtedly. Folks, we're a 20 minute movie today. <coughs> So, folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. Everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. 
Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And remember, it takes two Mannings to equal one Tom Brady. Three rings apiece. Enough said. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. 29 more days till Patriots football. Wicked awesome.